I got a question that kind of pissed me off immediately. It wasn't the topic of the question, it was the type of question that put the rise to my hackles. The questioner wanted to know if this line from Kate in season one hinted at the creators of the series original plans for Teen Wolf Werewolf design. There's actually three of them. Another younger one like him called the Beta, and then there's the Alpha. Bigger, stronger, nastier. Those are the real ugly ones. So yeah, Kate's use of the word those when describing alphas could suggest they might all look like Crazy Peter. But we've learned that's not true, and we learned that almost immediately. In season one alone, alphas look like this, or like this, and sometimes in extreme circumstances, they can look like this. They're shapeshifters. Depending on their state of mind, there is a wide range of appearances, and it remained that way from season one right through the end of the show. As for her bigger, stronger, nastier, I've been over this before too. In this universe, the vast majority of alphas have to kill for the status, and unless they get a lucky break with an incapacitated alpha that they can just yoink. I'm looking at you, Derek. Let me off of that. But most alphas would need to be physically bigger and stronger, and they would definitely need to be nastier if they're willing to kill for power. Not to mention the fact that Kate arrives at this moment having grown up on Gerard's stories of monsters. Any pity I'd have for Derek and his pack would be burned on by a white-hot desire for retribution. Blood and destruction that would have Derek and his wolves howling not for mercy, but for their own sweet deaths. There's actually three of them. Another younger one like him, called the Beta, and then there's the Alpha. Bigger, stronger, nastier. Those are the real ugly ones. She is literally running down ethnic stereotypes. This is what you would expect from someone like her. It is her reality, which is a skewed version of the show's universe. But all that aside, the reason the question really made me cringe is because there is a vocal faction of my viewers who lament some version of the show that they never saw. They'll take snippets of dialogue like this and read them like tea leaves, imagining that we were all denied some brutal and bloody werewolf show with eight-foot-tall lichens fighting bears and random flying camera terrorizing the Beacon Hills Mall. The real show is what it is. Trying to tie your wishcraft into some unrealized desire or imaginary original master plan of the makers is kind of dumb. They made the show they made because that's what they wanted to make.